first proceed with cathode ray oscilloscope. So you can see here how the depiction of cathode ray oscilloscope is over here. The cathode ray oscilloscope is the most useful electronic instrument. This gives visual representation of an electrical quantities such as voltage frequency in any kinds of electronic circuit. It makes use of the properties of cathode rays which are deflected in the electric and magnetic fields and also produce a kind of scintillation on the fluorescent screen. You can see here the fluorescent screen which is over here. So this cathode ray oscilloscope is having three sections. The first one is electron gun, second one is deflection system and you can see here the fluorescent screen. So these are the regions which have been divided as three sections. So these are enclosed in a glass tube. You can see here the overview of this one is this which has been completely evacuated. Let's first discuss about electron gun. So the first region is electron gun. If you see here the electron gun consists of a cathode which has been represented as K. So you can see here and a control grid. So this one is the control grid. So this region and it has two anodes. So this is the region of anode that has been mentioned as A1 and A2. So the electrons which are emitted from the indirectly heating mechanism of cathode K passes through the hole in the cylindrical grid towards the anode. So you can see here how this has been. Due to the negative potential of G with respect to cathode, it forms a beam of electrons coming out of G. Here G is indicating the control grid. So the electron beam is accelerated by the two cylindrical anodes, this one. A1, A2 which has been mentioned. Then finally the electron beam strikes the fluorescent screen. So this one is the fluorescent screen. Considering the second section that is deflection system. If you see this one with the help of two pairs of plates X1, X2, Y1, Y2 this has been indicated here very clearly. So the electron beam traveling towards the screen can be deflected. So these plates are placed between the path of the beam beyond the anode 2. So it has been beyond. Considering the plates Y1, Y2 which is called as Y plates. Similarly X1, X2 plates are called as X plates. So the Y plates, this one, are kept horizontal and the X plates are kept vertical along the direction of the beam. So you can see here the direction of beam over here which is passing through the Y plate and X plate. The electron beam will be deflected along the vertical direction if a direct current potential is applied to this Y plate, that is Y1, Y2. So the electron beam will be getting to be deflected along the horizontal direction with a potential on X plates which is indicating the X1 and X2. Let us now discuss about the fluorescent screen. The glass tube is coated with a fluorescent material which has been seen over here. When the beam strikes the screen, a light spot is visible. So this is the region which is indicating the light spot. The electrons striking the screen are written to the power supply through the inner surface of the glass envelope which has been usually coated with graphite. This coating is connected to the anode A2 by a lead-in wire. 